Hello, I'm Gareth with Mountain Coffee Outdoors. Welcome to another video. This time I'm going to do a show us your cake challenge. Seems like there's a lot of show us this or that food thing challenges, but uh, this one, I guess if it takes off as a challenge, that's awesome, that's great. But uh, this is kind of a new thing. The whole way this thing got started was a few weeks ago, Gone Again did a video about how to bake a cake just in a, a pot. And he suggested that I go out and bake a cake as kind of a, a challenge of sorts. So that's what I'm doing. Now I have to admit, the way I'm going to bake the cake isn't as, uh, as kind of a bushcrafty type way to do it as, uh, as, as can be done, obviously, but I wanted to break out a piece of gear that I've had for a long time now, 20 some years, and put it to use, mostly because I haven't used it for a while. Later on I'll have to bake something where I use less specialized equipment for the job. But anyway, let's get to baking a cake. Today I'm going to use my MSR Dragonfly stove, which I bought this stove about the same time I bought my little baking thing. When I bought this one, they were pretty new, it's back in like 1997 or so. good pressure in there. I just want to get the stove set up so it's ready to uh, go once we get the cake mixed up. I'm going to go ahead and put my uh, heat reflector on there. I'm going to use my Outback oven to uh, cook this cake. Sadly, I don't think they even make these anymore. Used to be made by uh, Cascade Designs. Has a heat diffuser. Here's our baking pan. It has a little thermometer knob. Screws on there. And then it has this little uh, reflective uh, cover thing. I'm going to mix up my cake in this Morse pot here. What I do when I want to make a quick little cake, I just use some of this uh, blueberry muffin mix. Um, I don't know, I think muffins are basically glorified cupcakes, so it's pretty close to the same thing. It definitely will bake you up a nice uh, little cake. Muffin mix with the little fake blueberry pellets in there. All you have to do is add uh, half a cup of milk. I'm going to add some milk powder here. Stir that up. Yeah, I thought about just adding the milk to the uh, the mix in the bag and mixing it that way, but I figured I had a pot, so why not do it in here? Get that 
pretty well mixed up in there. I had some some raspberries and some blackberries at home, so I figured I'd throw them in here just for the heck of it. They'll go well with the uh, fake blueberry chips, right? Put a little bit of both in there. I mean, there's probably gonna be big, big bits of berry in there, but that's all right. Get those blended in there. Okay. Have our little baking dish here. Alright, so there we go. Let's put the lid on this for now. Alright, now we, now we just need to get the uh, stove going here. One great thing about these MSR Dragonfly stoves is is that they have really great flame control. Just gonna open up the valve, let a little of that white gas into the burner cup. Light that on fire here. We just need to prime the stove, that way that burner cup will uh, get hot enough hot enough to vaporize the fuel. really crank the stove up where it makes quite a bit of noise. It's definitely a rather noisy stove. But the only thing we need this thing to do to make the cake is just to simmer. screen around it. Yeah, just a little simmer is all we need. So I put the pan on top of the heat diffuser, put the lid on it. And then put the little jacket or whatever you want to call it on there. And that's all there is to it. What that stove to do is just a nice little simmer is all. And we're baking. Of course, it's going to take a while to heat up in there and actually start baking. But we'll come back to this later.
take a look here, see how it's doing. I don't know how long this has been going. I kind of lost track of how long it's been baking for quite a while. The edges are pretty well browned. I think I'm just going to take the top off and leave it off now and just try to finish up the top there. And then it should be done. Need to make myself a little bushcraft uh, cake tester here. See if this thing's done. Nice and firm on the top. Yep, nice and clean. Looks like we're done. Let's take this uh, pan off. Oops, I guess I didn't have the camera going when I cut into this, but uh, yeah, it's uh, it's done nicely. It's pretty well browned on the bottom, but it's not burnt by any stretch of the imagination. It's cooked, cooked through, it looks like. Top didn't brown up too much, but that's all right. Looks very good. All right. Okay, time for some cake. Some good muffin cake with the artificial blueberry pellets and uh, the real raspberries and blackberries. Here's my uh, my little cake baked in my Outback oven, which they don't sell anymore apparently. A nice little baked outdoors treat. But as far as I know, I think I'm the first one that's kind of done this as a as a challenge, although I didn't come up with the idea. Gone again came up with the idea for it. But just for the heck of it, I'm going to go ahead and tag some folks um, just in case they might want to do their own uh, show us your cake challenge. Um, First off, I want to tag Bushcraft Bums to do a Show Us Your Cake Challenge because he, uh, on his Show Us Your Steak Challenge, he accidentally said cake instead of steak at, at one point in time. So, uh, Gonigan said I should tag you. So, uh, here it is. Here's a, a Show Us Your Cake Challenge. Also, I want to uh, tag Spirit Forest. Um, out in Colorado. If you want to go up to the mountains and uh, bake up a little cake of some sort, here's your, uh, here's your challenge. That is if uh, the avalanches quit and actually let you get up into the mountains. For my last tag, I'm going to actually tag two YouTubers in one. Um, I'm going to tag Girl Outdoors and Bushwhacker Man. Um, if you guys want to go out and uh, do a little uh, show us your cake challenge, maybe you guys could have a little competition amongst yourselves as to who can bake up the better cake. But I guess you're going to have to take the rest of the family with you or take some of the cake home because you'll probably <laughs> bake up too much cake. I know I'm going to take some of this home. But I thought maybe you guys would have fun with that. Um, but anyway... This has been the uh, Show Us Your Cake Challenge that, uh, that Gone Again suggested I do. So here you go. Um, yeah, maybe later I'll do some baking with a more uh, less equipped bushcraft style sort of a uh, method. But anyway, hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, hit the like button, subscribe to my channel, hit the bell to get notifications when I post new videos if you want to see more. Um, 
share the video if you know somebody that might enjoy it. And this is Gareth with Mountain Coffee Outdoors. I'll see you next time. I'm honestly kind of surprised that this doesn't sort of taste like white gas due to the fact that it was baked over a white gas flame. Probably not the healthiest way to bake stuff. But at least I don't do this that often.